We're joined now by Anjum Chowdhury of Islam for UK and by Majid Nawaz from the counter extremism think tank, the Quilliam Foundation. I see in your statement today that this decision, in your judgment, is a victory for Islam and for Muslims. How does that work? Well, absolutely, because um, if you believe in something, then it should be good for all times and places. The government uh, uh, advocate democracy and freedom. Supposedly, their own soldiers are dying for freedom and democracy so, in Afghanistan. And yet, when we expose their foreign policy, as we did with the mere suggestion of having a procession in Wooden Bassett, suddenly you find that freedom uh, dissipates and you have dictatorship. Will you be appealing against this decision? We don't appeal because we don't believe it's allowed to appeal to man-made laws. We have had the most support we've ever had. We have been inundated with calls and emails from Muslims and non-Muslims to say that they support us. And quite frankly, they're disgusted by the government who, on the one hand, advocate freedom and democracy, but when it comes to people wanting to practice their own views under their own law, that's suddenly exactly that becomes doing on the BBC. At the end of the day, you're being given the right to speak. At the end of the day, you're being the given the right to defend yourself. That this is a great victory for Islam. And, and, that. and how's the uh, campaign to move Britain over to Sharia law coming along? Well, well, this is in the hands of God. We do our best Going to propagate well. Islam. Well, of course it is. I think many people will see that democracy and freedom is no good for the British, no good for Afghanistan, and in fact, we need an alternative. Unlike man-made law, the Sharia is not something which gives you a right today to take it away tomorrow. It's good in all times and places. Yeah, Siri, uh, to make this an issue of freedom and democracy is absurd. Anjum, you haven't had a hair on your body touched by this government or this country. You haven't spent a day in prison. You haven't suffered one bit for your views. You're allowed to sit here right now because of freedom and democracy. In your so-called caliphate, you'd have me killed, wouldn't you? Am I an apostate that deserves death? Oh, well, I mean, obviously, Answer the Majin Nawaz is Answer part the of question. an apostate organisation called right. the Quilliam so, Foundation. So, so Would you have me he's killed? paid by Alan Johnson and Gordon Brown to say what he's saying. And so how many surprised. thousands of pounds a year do you get this, on benefits? This man gets uh, how many thousands uh, two of million pounds. pounds. What's it? Look, he's, he's asked well you two known. questions. He's Firstly, well under, uh, under your yeah. caliphate, he would be executable, would he? He would be judged uh, by right. an Islamic judge. If I'm judged so, an apostate by a Sharia court judge, will I be executed? You in your know caliphate? very well that you have left the deen of al-Islam because you side with enemies answer of Islam the against the Muslims. Right. Who understands with them is one so of them. Okay. You're not going to answer the question, right? Well, it's a ridiculous question. He knows the answer no. to it already.